Hiya ladies and gentlemen. Could be with a bit of switch cleaner there on my old AR7. I'm using my scruffy AR7 here today. And uh, I'm just going to show you uh, what I'd do if I was setting up the uh, S meter. If I was setting up the S meter. Let's go to the death channel. Uh, channel 18. Right, if I was setting up the S meter. Right. I'd probably call in exhibit F or uh, exhibit, exhibit D there, right? So, let's turn the volume up on Fred. Channel 18, just inject the signal, the signal that I required, I dial it in and I inject it. Same applies here look. I mean if you want calibrated outputs you know you can either you can either look at it on dial to see what you what you're dialing in. If you want uh, exact frequency you know you can just couple up your counter to it. You know what I mean? and uh, you can just set the band that you want whatever band that you want you know for whatever frequency right in this case 27 turn carrier on and it'll uh, it'll be radiated via this aerial you know it's got its own transmitter in you see so uh, we we'll just sweep across the band carrier is on into it yeah. There you go. You get what I mean? If I turn if I turn it off now look. It's up there's lot loops get six head together. Are you with me? So I know now that I'm right on the nose of that signal there. Uh, 27 uh, 175 or whatever if I were to couple up my counter I'd be very close and I can uh, set the level of generator to whatever signal I want it to produce on there for accuracy you see anyway let's put the radio on the ball just an AM40 channel radio is this right so we're on channel 38, 27, 385. And lower us carry it, how do we do that? <laughs> so you know what we're doing now don't you lads we're injecting a signal directly on top right but a consequence of that is demodulating the sideband that's actually on that frequency 385 so we can be a sideband radio we'll have to wait for someone talking or we'll to set the right amount of carrier
he's on the 40 a.m. I'd have to reset again if I were to go up there. <laughs> anyway, but you can see basically how to uh, how, how basically we inject signals into a radio. Uh, that's at, all at the 27 meg that you've seen there. 27 meg. It's a shame that there's not more happening on calling channel. President AR7 on lower side band 385. We must be on lower side band to hear the Yanks, you see. If I, if I tune to the other side of it, then I'd be at upper side band. If I were to go other way now and keep going that direction, I'd end up being on upper side band. If I tune that direction with BFO in this case, because that's what we're doing, we're beating two signals together. The signal coming in and the signal I'm injecting, or that's being picked up here, of course. That's being transmitted and sending it into the receiver of it. That, that's generator that's moving ever so slightly as I've just turned it on. I'm not going to talk, are Six one four, I got you, New York. Six one four, I got you, New York. On my President AR seven on thirty eight lower side. <laughs> Catch you later, lads. Goodbye.